to begin, go to www.coolmuster.com slash android dash assistant dot html and download the app. Choose either Windows or Mac and click download. Then run the installer. Agree to the license terms and choose the location to install the software. Then click finish and start the application. Then you are ready to connect your phone. You can connect via USB or Wi-Fi. Let's connect via USB. Plug your USB cable into your phone and then click connect via USB. The first time your phone will fail to connect, but don't worry, we just need to configure it. Click retry. Here you will see instructions for activating USB debugging mode which is used to allow your computer to manage your phone. Just follow the screen samples to configure your phone and then click Next. Next, you need to authorize your PC to keep everything secure. Once your phone is configured, you will see the connecting display as the computer connects to your phone. Then you will see the home screen with your phone's status. Now you're ready to manage your phone. How to manage apps on your Android phone with your computer? Click Apps on the left menu. The app will then retrieve a list of your apps. Let's install an app from our computer. Click Install from the top menu and choose either SD card or phone storage. Locate the app on your computer and click Open. Click Refresh and there is your new app. To export, select the app or apps you want to export and choose Export from the top menu. Select the location to save the app. Click Open Folder to see the exported app. To uninstall, select the app or apps you want to uninstall and choose Uninstall from the top menu. Choose OK and the app is uninstalled. And that's how you manage apps on your Android phone with your computer. How to manage contacts on your Android phone with your computer? Click Contacts on the left menu. The app will then retrieve a list of your contacts. You can click on a contact to view details on the right. Click New to create a new contact. Fill name, phone, email, address, and click OK. To edit a contact, select it and click it on the top menu. Manage your changes and click OK. To export contacts, select the contacts. The top box switches between all or none and you can choose from the contacts you want. You can export to HTML, VCF, or backup to JSON. Let's export to HTML. Choose the location to save the contacts and click OK. Now let's export to VCF. Once again, choose the location to save the contacts and click OK. This time let's create a JSON backup. Choose the location for the backup and click OK. Click Open Folder and we can look at our exports. Here you see the JSON backup. Let's look at our HTML export. As you can see, it contains all the data. The VCF export are in the single and all folders. In the single folder, you will find individual files for each exported contact. The files are stored in both Windows and Mac formats. In the All folder, you will find one file with all the contacts, once again in both Windows and Mac formats. To import a JSON backup file, click Import on the top menu. Locate the file and choose Open and the contacts are imported. And that's how you manage contacts on your Android phone with your computer. How to manage text messages on your Android phone with your computer? Click SMS on the left menu. The app will then retrieve a list of your text messages. You can click on a message to view it on the right. You can select individual messages to back up by clicking the selection box next to the message. Or you can click the box on top to select them all. Now click Export to back up your messages. You can choose plain text or HTML. Let's do text first. Select the folder where you want your messages saved and click OK. Clicking the Open Folder button will allow you to see your messages. The Message Single folder will contain text files for each of your text messages. 
Let's create an HTML export too. Select the folder where you want your messages saved and click OK. The message folder will contain HTML files for each of your text messages. To delete a text message, simply select the message or messages and click Delete. And that's how you manage text messages on your Android phone with your computer. How to manage music on your Android phone with your computer? Click Music on the left menu. The app will then retrieve a list of your music. To add music, click New on the top menu. Choose one or more songs to be added. Click Open. To export music, select the music. The top box switches between all or none, or you can choose just the music you want. Then choose Export on the top menu. Choose the location to save the music and click OK. Click Open Folder to see the music added to your computer. To delete music, simply select the music and click Delete. Click OK to confirm. And that's how you manage music on your Android phone with your computer. How to manage photos on your Android phone with your computer? Click Photos on the left menu. The app will then retrieve a list of your photos. To add photos, click Add on the top menu. Choose one or more photos to be added. Click Open. To export photos, select the photos. The top box switches between all or none, or you can choose just the photos you want. Then choose Export on the top menu. Choose the location to save the photos and click OK. Click Open Folder to see the photos added to your computer. To delete photos, simply select the photos and click Delete. Click OK to confirm. And that's how you manage photos on your Android phone with your computer. How to manage videos on your Android phone with your computer? Click Videos on the left menu. The app will then retrieve a list of your videos. To add videos, click Add on the top menu. Choose one or more videos to be added. Click Open. To export videos, select the videos. The top box switches between all or none, or you can choose just the videos you want. Then choose Export on the top menu. Choose the location to save the videos and click OK. To delete videos, simply select the videos and click Delete. Click OK to confirm. And that's how you manage videos on your Android phone with your computer. How to manage ebooks on your Android phone with your computer? Click Books on the left menu. The app will then retrieve a list of your books. To add books, click Add on the top menu. Choose one or more books to be added. Click Open. To export books, select the books. The top box switches between all or none, or you can choose just the books you want. Then choose Export on the top menu. Choose the location to save the books and click OK. Click Open Folder to see the books added to your computer. To delete books, simply select the books and click Delete. Click OK to confirm. And that's how you manage ebooks on your Android phone with your computer. <laughs>